This project's about the adoption of exoskeleton suits in construction and manufacturing. The exoskeletons are designed to provide support for the upper and lower back for the users so that over prolonged use they feel benefits and they won't develop long-term back injuries. So this is one of our field labs, this is a third field lab. And the guys behind us here are building timber frame panels. Uh, so they're using exoskeleton suits to try them out to see if there's any benefits and advantages. So the, the project is all about how we test and measure the benefits of the suits undertaking a variety of construction tasks. Our first one was the roofing field lab. So that was successfully completed in October. And our second one was plasterboarding field labs, so it was fitting wall and ceiling plasterboarding. We are doing testing with the Oxivio and HeroWear exoskeletons, they're passive suits. So during this testing we'll be providing uh, GOM scanners, so GOM Aramis SRX scanners we're using to do motion tracking. So we'll be placing markers on the guys' suits and on their bodies so that we can track uh, their motion while they're actually performing real life tasks start with an interview with the operators so that we can understand the activity that they're going to take part and from that we will then understand which parts of that activity and which parts of the real life activity that they're doing uh, will actually gain benefit from the use of the exoskeleton mainly activities where they'll be using their back or in an uncomfortable or a twist sort of operation from that we then focus on measuring those activities as part of the real life trial and then at the back end we'll do a follow-up interview to see how they actually felt the experience of wearing the suit was, did they feel benefit, did they feel any extra restriction from wearing that suit. When you're working you can feel your, your back is like it's like correcting your posture and I think that's when you're bending down you're just not used to like being that natural kind of shape, eh? you're used to twisting in that. What we're trying to understand is what the limitations and what the benefits of these suits are and then potentially identify design improvements that could be implemented or recommendations that could be implemented for actual use that we can then pass on to the industry. The project's funded through Interreg, it's a European funded project. It's actually a consortium of 12 different organisations across the North Sea region of Europe. We're the only consortium partner in the UK alongside University of Strathclyde and ENMIS, the National Manufacturing Institute of Scotland. The future, hopefully, of exoskeletons is that we see an adoption of the suits across the construction industry and then organisations get the benefit and their workers get the benefits of using the suits.